There's a large collection of samples that you can download within Megasampler and load into sample slots. These samples can be found by navigating to the Browse tab. Instrument packs are broken down into different categories like bass, brass and wind, drums, etc. When you click on a category, you can demo different packs. Opening a pack lets you audition all the samples a part of that pack. To be able to play a sample on your MIDI keyboard, download it, and then drag and drop it onto an empty sample slot. You can solo and mute samples using the S and M icons. When you right click on a slot, you have the option to clear the slot, clear all slots, or reset the slot's controls. There are 16 sample slots in total, however, Mega Sampler allows you to apply a ton of processing to each sample, which we'll get into. But this means that it can be quite a CPU intensive plugin. If you have a newer MacBook Pro or you've custom built a powerful PC, you might be able to use every sample slot. On the other hand, if your computer is 10 years old, you might be limited to 5 or 6 sample slots. Instead of reducing the number of sample slots that Mega Sampler provides or cutting down on sample processing options, the design approach was offer up 16 slots, and if you can use them, use them. To get back to where you started, just click on the Instruments tab. There's also a creative tab that contains sample packs from native instruments. These sample packs aren't broken down by instrument. Instead, they're categorized by vibe or style. If you mix and match samples from a single creative pack, the results should sound pretty cohesive from a sound selection standpoint. There's also the option to browse all samples and sort them based on various characteristics like instrument, type, character, genre, keywords, BPM, and key. There are new sample packs constantly being added to Mega Sampler, so check back to see what's new every so often. Let's say you really like a sample pack and want to quickly access it later. Well, you can download a single sample, or the entire pack that it's part of. When you do this, it will show up in the tab called My Collection. If you find yourself without internet access, you can still use all of the samples that you've downloaded. Another option is to favorite a sample or pack. It will appear in the Favorites section of the My Collection tab. The pack doesn't get downloaded, but it makes it easy to access your favorite packs online. If your computer is low on storage, this is a good option, and you can selectively download the samples that you want to use.